Hello everybody, welcome to this session. The objective of this session is to see a couple of things about the EDI. Now the most important part we are going to discuss in this session is uh, how we can play around with the status of the IDOCs. Now, for example, there could be a number of times wherein you know you would be having a lot of uh, interfaces which would be running up and down between different systems um, with the ECC that you must have implemented. At times, what happens? The back, all these would be controlled by the background jobs. So there could be a possibility that you might have to uh, exclude certain IDOCs because there could be a possibility of wrong data in the IDOC. So when the background job would be picking it up again and again you know there would be a, a point that because of the data inconsistency or there could be some problem in the data uh, it would it might not be processed correctly and it would always go into a error status or there could be a possibility that it might not go into error status itself it must not be picked up by the application uh, server itself so there could be a number of possibilities now how we can handle those kind of IDOCs? Usually what we do is uh, in real time scenario, those IDOCs would be excluded from processing itself. Now, if we have to exclude, uh, we do it to SA38, but if in case we, the other option is that you can straight away change the status of that IDOC and you can make it as permanent failure. That means no further processing. So you can set up a status so that that particular IDOC itself would not be picked up by the background job. Now let's see how to do that. So let's try to find out some IDOCs first, W02. Now I'm just picking up, I'm going to see if I'm going to get any of the IDOCs. No, I'm not getting any IDOCs here. So let me see if I have some IDOCs from last year. Yep, I have some IDOCs. Now you can see here, I have some IDOCs here. Okay, now this one is a error one. If you see here, this IDOC is is an erroneous IDOC, right? So what I'm gonna do is, if you look at the status is zero two, that means it, it is basically a problem with the system. This is the IDAS and this IDAS, it is not properly set up. So this is like a zero two, you know, some output stuff. Um, now here you can see that this, uh, let's say that uh, this IDOC is failing again and again, it is not picked up. So if I would like to exclude this, what would I do? And here you can see the statuses. In this status, we have a status called error, no further processing. That means this is a status, if in case you put any IDOC to this status, if this status picked up by the IDOC, it would not be picked up by any of the background jobs. Reason being, it is completed uh, by all means. Now let's see that if in case you're getting 51 status that is application document not posted again and again and you really wanna uh, because of the data in inconsistency and you would like to change the status of that IDOC forcefully, how would you do it? So for that we have a program called, let's go to S38 and we'll, yeah, here you can see here, this is a program name rc1 underscore idoc underscore set underscore status if you want to see there are so many rc1s all these are under ehs and these are very important basically So you can see here, this is report for converting the ad hoc status for internal EHS only. Now these are very important EHS programs. Uh, anyways, I mean, uh, we are going to look a couple of them which we use very frequently. This is one such which we use very frequently, rc1 underscore idoc underscore set underscore status. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go to SA38 again. Okay, I'm going to execute it now. Now here it asks for the IDOC number. It is very, very important that you have to give the IDOC number. So I'm going to give the IDOC number here. Now pick this IDOC number and then give it here. Okay, so I have given the IDOC number. Now 
here no further processing i say no for the processing you if you want to give the message type or something you can give it as was delivery 03 but i'm not going to pick up the message type what i'm just going to do is it is currently into 02 status right 02 status is the current status so i would say that make it from 02 to 68 that is no further processing i'm not going to test it i'm just straight away going to execute it and it says adocs were converted so now the expectation is that here when i go back and go in again the status should change to 68 so let us go out let us do a refresh and you can see here 988 this one is converted into 68 status and you can see here this is turned green that means it will not be processed any further thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please do subscribe to my video have a great day